Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Prophecy of Pendor. Now, we are right outside Highcliff Castle, and it is rather well fortified, I must say. I have just chased off three or four different Fierce Vein vassals they ran in this direction, so hopefully they will not be reinforcing Hrolfsson Castle, which is our next target. But yes, now we will focus our attention on Highcliff Castle and hopefully take it because they do have 192 prisoners and that would be absolutely amazing to be able to recruit after we are successful. I can only hope we are successful anyway. And as you can see there, just before the Legion Soldiers screen came up, there were quite a few vassals running south. So hopefully they won't interfere with any of our plans. But yes, now we will head in here and hopefully not take too many casualties. But apparently we are doing quite well so far. So let's see here. We want our archers to run up, our cavalry to charge, and our infantry to charge. Yes. There we are. Hopefully my shield won't get completely pulverized by the time I actually get up here. That would be lovely. Okay, yes, there we are. That's much better. Okay, let's get my bow out and maybe do some sniping. Maybe do some sniping. Yes, there we are. <laughs> ah, good. Thank you very much. And it appears there's actually an invisible wall in between there, so we can't really get any cheese kills off there, really. So let's do some slashing instead. Oh, yeah. Come on, guys. Take him down. My aim is not to die in this siege, okay? Let's try not to die. Oh, my. I almost fell off. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, whoa, Ravenstone Knights. Okay, got to be careful of this guy as well. He's a Empire Gladiator. Took him down. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. There we go. There we go. This is going completely fine. I actually thought we were going to be in a little bit more serious trouble than this. But, uh, oh, maybe not. Okay. Oh, okay. Just chill. Chill, chill. Okay, yes, there we are. I confused them, <laughs> apparently. They thought I was going to jump off the edge and kill myself, but apparently they didn't want to stop me, of course. But still, they left me alone, which was an amazing result for that. Oh my, this is a legionnaire, I believe. Take him down, take him down, yes. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm going to send my archers in now. We are actually getting a few reinforcements, but they may be a little bit late, and I'm actually going to exit through the gift shop rather swiftly. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. We need to get in there. Oh, my. There is actually a lot here. Come on, guys. Oh! Okay. Uh, wow. That's 41 damage. Seriously, 41 damage. Guardian Empire Knight. That's what took me out. Wow. Okay, now that is some serious damage right there. I'm wondering what they actually used to kill me there. I was thinking probably a crossbow, because I didn't see anyone trying to attack me in melee, but it was all such a blur, it could have been someone in melee, for all I know. And we are actually losing this rather considerably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is not too good, I have to say. Although, we are entering the battlements rather swiftly all the time now, so that's not too bad. Yeah, it seems okay. Is it? As you can see here, we are on even terms, almost. Although we are suffering more wounded than we are suffering deaths, so that's not too bad, but... The AI doesn't really care whether they have deaths, because they don't really need to work that hard to get any units back up, whereas I do. <laughs> but hopefully we can actually push on and through the battlements, because at the moment we are only fighting on the battlements, and that is not the greatest result for us, as it is a mini bottleneck, really. It's not doing very well for us to be able to spread out, but it seems we are now prevailing against them, are we? It seems as though we are a little bit, and now we are losing once again. Oh my. Okay, 34 of our units have died, 106 have been wounded. We have taken out 160 and counting of the enemy, which is very good, but still, 
We are only 20 or so deaths behind them. Well, 20 or so knocked out slash deaths, <laughs> of course. So we can only hope that they succeed eventually in taking them down. Oh my, I really wish I hadn't taken 41 damage. I mean, seriously, that must have been a headshot with a crossbow or something. Guardian Empire Knights. I really need to look those up because I've never fought them before, I don't think. These are definitely not them. They're Fierdsvane Archers. They must be over here. Maybe it was a throne weapon. Yes, it was most likely a throne weapon. They do a lot of damage when wielded correctly. Hint, hint. <laughs> yes, no, I am terrible with throwing weapons. But I suppose it does help to have power throw skill to reduce the crosshair. But I've never actually had the inclination to use throwing weapons when I've had access to the power throw skill, which is rather unfortunate. I would think they would be very effective indeed. And I had no idea, but we actually have ebony gauntlet hammers. Look at that. Ebony gauntlet hammers. Where did I get those from? What? I'm seeing all these rare units and I have no idea where I've got them from. Look at that. Ebony gauntlet hammers killing loads. Wow. Where is he, anyway? Let's see if we can find him. Or them, should I say. Wow, they're killing a load, okay. Is this him? No. Oh, I cannot tell whatsoever who is who. But they seem to be doing a very good job indeed. Oh, one was taken out. Knocked unconscious, not too bad. And as you can see now, we are still moving forward. So that is absolutely amazing. Very good indeed. The other Ebony Gauntlet Hammer was taken out, rather unfortunate, as they were doing a very good job in clearing out the enemy. I must have recruited them somehow from one of the sieges. Oh, is this him? I think this is him, the guy with the huge pole axe, or should I say pole hammer? <laughs> yes, as he is knocking everyone unconscious rather than actually killing them, because obviously blunt weapons result in unconscious rather than death so yes I think we are perfectly fine to win this yes yes we started to accelerate our killing spree a lot more once we had passed the ladder over here but unfortunately most of our units are being blocked by theirs and we are losing quite a few of our units to these Beardsvane light infantry I believe but I believe we should have enough units to push forward and hopefully take out the rest of the remaining enemy forces. Yes, we are now penetrating their defense and our forces are now firing at them. Who is this? Ravenstern? Or Sarleon? I think it's a Sarleon Longbowman, maybe. Yes, it is a Salian Longbowman. Cool. Okay. That's great. And I believe there is only one enemy remaining, and this just happens to be him right here. And he's going to get taken out very swiftly indeed. And he's going to get taken out. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. They took quite a while over that. But at least they took him down, and he wasn't immortal for whatever reason. Yes. Okay, so we earned... 31 renown, 25 morale. That is going to help us with our current food situation, as I do only have probably about a few hours remaining, which is not great. But still, we lost... Let's see. These are our casualties here. We lost 69 to death and 208 to wounds, which is not bad. But they lost even more than that, which, yeah, is not really mattering to them that much, but still. It's always good to see that we can inflict major casualties. Okay, so I am pretty much going to recruit everyone I can see here. There's no real need for me to be able to choose the best ones, as I believe we can take all of them. So I am going to cut away real fast while I recruit all of these people, and once I have, I will cut back. Oh yeah, look at that. I recruited everyone except these two guys. I think we will be taking the brigands and then capturing a few of their prisoners as well. Let's see. I think I can take all of these. Well, most of them at least. There we go. Very nice. So, 
Let's take a lot of this loot. Oh yeah, they actually gave us some um, throwing weapons. Maybe I should actually use these. I do have a spare slot if I were to use my two-handed axe instead of the bow. I didn't really use the bow in this siege as well, so it may be something to consider. So let's actually change it up a little bit. We do have some throwing knives, but they require power throw four, which is rather unfortunate. But still, let's try this out. Speed rating on these knives is huge compared to these, but that should be okay. Let's try it out anyway. How much power throw skill do we actually have? I don't know. And I don't even know whether I've shown my stat screen on camera before because this was quite a mysterious event around, was it episode 87, I think? Oh my, that was a long time ago indeed. So, Lord Rain, I believe, is getting this. Yes, Lord Alistar has increased to two as well. And these two lords at the bottom here do need a few as well after we have taken the next target of ours. Yes, okay. So, I will be resting here for some time because I need to rejuvenate most of our injured comrades. And then we will head on after these Fierd's Vein vassals, I think. Or maybe not. They ran away rather swiftly, I think. Oh, Gunda's Lodge has been besieged by <laughs> Gunda himself, apparently. Yes, Gunda Doomseeker. So we'll need to head over there as well. Let's do it, shall we? Where is Gunda's Lodge? Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. So I don't need to head up. I need to head down instead. So let's just see how our forces are actually doing right now. They seem okay from what I can tell. But you never know. They may take a few more hours to rejuvenate. Oh my, a lot of units to recruit. Trainer really does an amazing job. Oh my, yes. Ooh, gladiators, very nice. So let's actually take a look at those ebony gauntlet hammers, I believe they were called. I really like to see their stats. That would be amazing. Where are they anyway? Huh. Wow. I don't see them at all here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Very carefully scroll up, make sure we find them. Ebony Gauntlet ha Ah, there they are. I have seven of these guys. Where did I find them from? <laughs> Oh no, okay. Well, they're level 40. They have, wow, very nice stats indeed. Great, I like that. Oh yeah, well, now we know. They do a lot of damage and they have a lot of stats and just generally very beastly all over. Great. So, yes, now we will head on to Gunda's Lodge and potentially defend it from some interlopers. Ooh. Ah, it was a ploy to get us away from Highcliff Lodge. Or should I say Highcliff Castle, anyway. So let us head on after Gunda Doomseeker and take him down, maybe take him prisoner. It would be rather advantageous if we could, but he is moving faster than us, which is rather a shame. And it appears Lady Boadis is here and actually fighting Gunda Doomseeker for us. Or should I say with us? <laughs> That's rather cool. Okay. Well, they only have 50, so we don't really need to use tactics. So we will head up here. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Now, it will give me a chance to actually try out these throwing weapons. Oh, yeah. The crosshair is absolutely huge. But I did some damage to a horse. And, oh my. I'm actually doing loads of damage. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I'm actually doing damage to people. And I got a headshot. Wow. That just shows, doesn't it? You really need power throw skill to make it worth it to use throwing weapons. Oh my, yes. I can imagine if you had power throw level 8 or something, that would be absolutely insane. You'd be able to get headshot after headshot after headshot and it would just be immense. Wow, that would be really nice. Come on, take him down. Take them down. Yes, I'm trying to distract these archers so that our main force can take down their infantry. And then we will clean up. Oh, yeah. Okay, wow. Boadis has Lady Valkyries under her command. Very nice. 
Finally, someone actually coming to help me. <laughs> uh, my vassals. They are just chilling out. Oh my. Okay, yeah, there she is. Lady Boadis. Hello. She has a rather large lance there. Ready to attack anyone. Oh my. Okay. So, yes, there we are. We defeated Gunda Doomseeker very easily indeed. There's not really much to shout about here. But we do get some relation increase with Lady Boadis For free, which is rather nice. So, let us see here. We're going to say he is our prisoner. And then, let's see now. Yeah, that's fine. And, yeah, we might as well take that. Okay, so now one of you actually told me that if you go into your camp menu... Oh, no, I think that is a different series I'm doing. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up, oh my. Well, you can actually modify your banner here and rename your kingdom, that's great. Okay, and we should actually select this book to read. That's also what I wanted to do. So it wasn't a complete waste of time to go into that menu. Very good. Okay, so I think now we will head on to Horolfsson Castle and maybe take that rather swiftly. We will take a look and see. I am probably going to start accepting these because I don't believe the Feardsvein can stop us now considering they only have three fiefs left in the entire map. Wow, that is a rather huge undertaking indeed. Okay, so they have 15 Huskarls, but everything else is rather mediocre, so not to worry about that. And then we will head in in one hour. Oh yes, look at that. How quick was that? Amazing. And, oh my, I think we are in trouble. This ladder is very difficult to scale indeed, I believe. So we're going to have to be more cautious than usual, and by more cautious I mean maybe try not to die this time. <laughs> oh no. Okay, come on guys. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Come on. And I've just forgotten I don't have my bow, but that's okay, because we have our two-handed stylish looking axe. Oh yeah. I'm just going to let these Mettenheim greatswords go first, as we do have quite a few of them, and they can clear the way, hopefully. And then we will slip past as quickly as we can. And then get up to that archery nest, if possible. That would be the best course of action, I think. Oh no, I'm taking zero damage, but that means they are going to start doing damage to me soon enough. Yes, they are. A little bit. Oh my, we are losing a lot. Oh my. Okay. Come on, let's start doing some damage, guys. Come on, we need to get in there. Otherwise, we're going to take so many losses, this won't even be worth it. Oh, no. Oh, these archers. I really need to take them down. Come on, guys. Come on. Get in there. Oh, my. There's just too many, isn't there? Oh, no. Okay, well... I suppose I will head my archers up here, and maybe they can assist us with these archers that are trying to shoot us to death. And currently succeeding rather well. Oh my. Yeah. That's pretty terrible, isn't it? Okay, come on. Let's get my throwing weapons out and try to shoot these guys. Look at that! How are they so accurate? Look at this! Oh my. I really wish Britain Order had power through. Seriously. Look at that, it makes so much difference. I mean, it doesn't even make the crosshair any smaller, I don't think, but it just makes it... Look at that, I actually got kills. Oh my. <laughs> Usually I never get kills, yeah. Uh, okay, well, enough whining about that, I suppose. We will now continue the siege and hopefully get in there shortly, please. Oh my. Are we already gaining reinforcements? Well, we have actually lost exactly the same, or even more, troops than the enemy has, which is not good. I've only got two kills so far, and gaining now, of course, as they are moving away from the door, as they are scared of Iceni. And, unfortunately, I cannot jump over the fence here. I would have preferred to have done that so that we could stop their reinforcements from coming so quickly, but there we are. Just take out that heavy archer on the way, and maybe we can take out these guys. These guys shot me off the ladder. Yeah, take this. 
Oh, wait a minute. Two-handed axe time. Oh, uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, maybe not. No, no, no. I do not want to die. I do not want to die. Yes. There we are. Okay, come on. Two-handed axe time. Let's do it. Yeah, the reach on this. That's what you need for this particular area. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yes. Look at that. Amazing. Okay, so they are gaining more reinforcements, but I believe we are now in a really good position to take out the rest of them, or I hope so at least. And I'm actually getting hit on the back. Thankfully, the game tells you when you're getting hit on the back, as you can see there. Hit shield on back, and I didn't take the hint the first time, so they did it a second time. Yes. <laughs> okay. Come on. Don't destroy my shield just yet. Yes. Yes. Come on. Let's try and dodge as many arrows as we can. And as many sword strikes as we can. Oh my. No. Don't get swamped. Yes. Try not to die. That is the name of the game at the moment. No. Yes, you were swinging against a wall there. That was your doom. Two-handed axe. Yeah. <laughs> that was a little bit overkill, I think. Okay, let's pick up this kite shield and then see what we can do with this as well. Let's pick up this round shield. No, I want to... Yes, thank you. Pick up my sword. <laughs> I don't want to drop my sword. And then pick up that. Yes. Okay, we are heavily armored right now. Perfectly fine to take down these guys, hopefully. Okay, no one get any kind of attack on me right now. Okay, just chill. I just want to kill you. And then we will take your stronghold away from you. And so forth. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Oh my. No, maybe not. Yes, okay. Just have to be careful. Make sure that we don't leave our sides vulnerable to any potential archery. There we are. That's much better. And I believe this is probably going to be it, apart from the other side there. I will flank around, hopefully, and be able to take him down from the other side. Unfortunately, we are having some difficulties getting there, as you can see. Oh, no. No. There we are. We're fine. Switch shield. Yes. Come on. Yes, yes. Wow. We are hanging on a knife edge here. I can just imagine me getting shot once in the head and it's game over. Okay, so let's pick up another one of these. Yes, thank you very much. Okay. Lock whatever is actually shooting me right now. I don't see any archers on the battlements anymore, so it must be down here. Yes, you're throwing axes at me. How dare you? You obviously have power throw skill. <laughs> Ah, uh, here we are. More archers. Okay, we're going to have to use the environment to our advantage here. Let them come up the stairs and then hit them rather hard over the head. Yes. No. Oh, no. Why am I blocking with an axe against arrows? <laughs> Should I say a two-handed axe? That is rather feeble, to say the least. Okay. Here we go. We're doing fine now. Okay, let's head down. Oh, no, let's not head down. Let's not head down. Let's get out other shield and block these axes. Oh, my. Okay. See, that's what happens. Overconfidence. Overconfidence. Just relax. Are there any other shields here? No. Ooh, throwing axes. Wait. Where, where were those throwing axes? Oh, there's a hatchet. But that's not actually going to help me. 
No. Ooh, close, close, close. Okay, there's some throwing axes there. Four of them. Okay, maybe we can do some damage. Yeah, take that. You have no shield. <laughs> I actually killed someone with those. Wow. I like those. Let's take some more from the wall over here. And maybe do some damage. Oh, yes. We actually did some damage. Oh, yeah. Take him out. And then throw. Wow. These throwing weapons are actually really fun. If only I had power throw skill. Well, more of it, at least. There we are. Let's get some more. We don't have a shield, so we are very vulnerable. But I believe our units are most likely going to be victorious soon enough. Oh, yeah. Took him down. Axe in the gut. And, oh, my... Yes. Take him down and pick up the shield real quick. Yes, and then block any potential attackers. And I believe our forces are now perfectly fine and capable of doing it themselves. Which is <laughs> rather disappointing considering I took quite a long time to get to this point. But there we are anyway. Victory is yours. 22 Renown, 16 Morale, and we get to recruit a lot of very valuable units by the looks of things. Yes, looks great so far. Rogue Squires, Noble Cavalry, Raiders, Spearmen. Can we take all of these? No, not even. can we? Hmm, maybe. Yes, we might be able to. This is good. Oh yeah, we can actually. That is really good, wow. And we get some balanced throwing axes. Maybe I can use those instead of these, but you do get 11 of these, which is rather cool. Oh wow, another 11 of those as well. Great. Okay, so yeah, throwing weapons were rather fun, I have to say. So let's give this to this guy. Lord Donovan needs it next time. And Mansour as well, okay. Okay, so as you can see, we've taken High Cliff Castle and Hrolfsen Castle, which is great. So, I will end this episode off here, and next time on Prophecy of Pendor, we will be scouting out Naltar and Torba. I believe Torba probably has less units there, so we may head for that one first, but we will see. So, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.